All right, now let's continue further and now look at note one. So two linear equations can represent a line. So since a linear equation in x, y, and z represent, uh, represents a plane, yes, yeah, so a linear equation is a plane, and two non-parallel planes intersect a line, it follows that two linear equations can represent a line. Yeah, so when you have two linear equations, then the intercept of that is, is going to be, you know, can represent a line if those uh, planes are not parallel, which is epic stuff. So the points x, y, z that satisfies both uh, a1, x plus b1, uh, y plus z1, uh, z plus d equals 1 equals 0, and a2, x plus b2, y plus z, uh, c2, z plus d2 equals 0. These are linear equations. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the points uh, x, y, z that satisfies both these linear equations, uh, these points lie on both of these planes, and so the pair of linear equations represents the line of intersection of the planes, if those uh, planes are not parallel. Uh, for instance, in example 7, the line L was given as the line of intersection of the planes x plus y plus z equals 1, and x minus 2y plus 3z equals to 1. And now the, the symmetric equations that we found for L could be written as, yeah, and then uh, we could uh, go and write these out. First, what I'll do is I'll write down these symmetric equations from examples uh, 7. So x minus 1 divided by 5 equals y divided by negative 2, and then equals z divided by negative 3. So let's write this out first. x over 1 divided by 5 equals to y over negative 2 equals to z over negative 3. And uh, yeah, let's just double check that again. So yeah, x minus 1 over 5, y over negative 2, z over negative 3. So we have this. Now what we'll do is well, we could take this and then write it, as, write it separately. Uh, and then we could write this as x minus uh, 1 over 5 equals to y, uh, yeah, y divided by uh, negative 2. Yeah, so we could uh, leave it like this. This is actually a linear equation. So I'll box this out. That's a linear equation. And now the next one we could do is take this and then write it out as y is uh, divided by negative 2 equals to z over negative 3. So we get this, or uh, just cancel all these negatives. Just write y over 2, just make it simpler, equals to z over 3. Now this is a linear equation. Both of them are exactly the same as our other linear equations, just, just uh, written a bit differently. And uh, you can see that these are linear equations because uh, we could just rearrange this or, uh, or not as rearrange it, just look at this right here and then um, s separate it out so that it looks like our typical linear equation form. So x over 5 minus 1 over 5. Uh, and then move this over to this other side. We're going to have a plus, which is shift this over to this side. We're going to have a plus, yeah, plus y over 2 equals to 0. So then uh, the ABC, uh, yeah, let's just shift this over actually. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way. Yeah, here, I'll just move this out of the way. Uh, move it onto the other side. And then uh, shift this over to this side. And let's see. All right, let's do one more. Uh, and then move this over to this side. Yes, yeah, so now we have that form. That's exactly how we had a linear equation. So x plus y plus z equals 1. But instead we have this uh, 1 over 5x plus 1 over 2y. So then the a is going to be 1 over 5, b is going to be uh, 1 over 2. And then uh, the z1, the c is going to be 0. And then we have as negative 5 there. So again, these are linear equations. Or you can move this over to the right side. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Uh, and then likewise, this one right here. It's going to be, uh, this one's already done for us, y over 2, move this over to the other side, z over 3 equals 0. So again, linear equations. All right, and uh, these equations are, yeah, again, are a pair of linear equations. Uh, so they exhibit L as the line of intersection of the planes x minus 1 divided by 5 equals y divided by negative 2, and y over 2 uh, equals to uh, z over 3. So this part right here, either or. Um, and then here is, uh, yeah, as in the figure below, is from my calculus book. So there is the line of intersection L, and there's the two planes. So this this top vertical one is this x minus one divided by five equals y minus and y divided by negative two. 
And then, then this uh, slanted one is this y divided by 2 equals z over 3. And then we have an equation of a line right there. So the above figure shows that the line L in example 7 can also be regarded as the line of intersection of planes from its symmetric equations, which is quite epic stuff. So these are different planes from those other ones from example 7. So we can graph out the four equations of the planes, two from example 7 and two from the symmetric equations, and show that they all intersect at the, uh, intersect at the, at the same common plane, which is hashtag amazing. So again, from GeoGebra, it's the same link there. I just added uh, more terms. So we're going, there's a plane one from and plane two of example seven. And now here's a plane from symmetric equation one. So x minus one divided by five equals y uh, divided by negative two. And there's the symmetric equation two, y over two equals z over three. So you could write it either or, you could write it as this. Or you can write it as this, this format, and it'll just solve everything. And there's the angle, 72 degrees. And I actually, I, I, I hit it, so that's why it's not selected. So I didn't select it just to get it out of the way. Anyways, uh, and now we have the line. Remember, the line is the same one from example 7, um, the point one zero zero, and there's that cross product 5, negative 2, negative 3, that, uh, that parallel vector. And now there's the uh, four uh, equations. So there's the red and purple are the symmetric equations. So these are, yeah, this red and purple are, are symmetric and they're different from these blue and green ones. And notice how they're all uh, exactly, par yeah, exactly intersect at the same line L, which is absolutely uh, remarkable. Yeah, that's L, absolutely amazing. And now going further, all right, so uh, yeah, in general, uh, when we write the equations of a line in symmetric form, uh, such as this one right here, x minus x naught over a equals to y minus y naught over b. And again, I, I like writing t equals just so that we always remember it's the parameter or set it all equals on for all of them. And then you have z equals z naught over c. Yeah, so if we have these symmetric uh, equations, this uh, equation of a line in symmetric form, then we could regard the line as the line of intersection of the two planes. And again, you just separate uh, these across. And you should also uh, get another plane, uh, this one here, uh, and this equation, equate those. Yeah, I believe that should also work as well. All right, yeah, so then, uh, anyways, going further, so it's gonna be intersection of the two planes. So we'll have x minus x naught over a equals y minus y naught over b and and then uh, I'll just shift this over. All right, shifted it over and we also have this one y minus y naught over b equals to z minus z naught over c. All right, uh, now here's another note that I actually alluded to it earlier is by using well this equation and this one, <laughs> you know, the, those equating it as well. And that is right here. So note two line of intersection from two parametric planes. Again, this is a tied in note one. So note that another way to find the line of intersection is to solve the equation of the planes for two of the variables in terms of the third, which can be taken as the parameter. So in our earlier uh, example seven, we had x minus one over five equals to y over negative two. This equals to z over negative uh, three. Yeah, so what we could do is, well, we take this and then equate it to this, and then also take uh, th this one and equate it to this one. Yeah. So what we'll get is, uh, let's just write this out. Uh, we'll get x minus one over five equals to z over negative three. And if we solve this, uh, we'll multiply this uh, five on top, and then shift this over, we're gonna get x is going to equal to well, five, uh, let's put the plus one in front. One plus, uh, I mean one, it's gonna be one minus. Cause there's a negative three there. One negative five or three z, like that. So that's one equation. And then the next one's going to be right here. And that's gonna be what we already used to that one. Y over negative two equals z over negative three. Uh, I'll write this better. Yeah, negative three. And then uh, multiply this inside. We're gonna get uh, y equals two plus two over three z. So the parameter is uh, z right here. 
parameter uh, equals that or a parameter. Yeah, parameter e equals to um, z. And uh, yeah, yeah, basically the only difference is uh, we have this equation now. Because this one here is the same thing as uh, the other one we had uh, that we graphed out. It's going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be the same exact plane. That's this one right here. So y divided by negative 2 equals z divided by negative 3 or this equals to y over 2 equals z over 3. But now we have another equation. So all we're doing is adding another plane. And that's this one right here because we equated this with a z. So that we get that plane. So now I have another one here. So I added uh, parametric equations. Uh, I, I mean, from the symmetric equation, so s 1.2. So the second one, x equals 1 minus 5z over 3. Then we have uh, s 2.2 is this right here, 2 over 3z. And uh, these are the same exact colors because they're the exact same uh, planes. All you're doing is shifting the 2 over to this side. All right. And now we have an, uh, another plane. So we added all of them together. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so we, again, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then there's 5. Yes, yeah, so 5 planes right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then this one is the same as that. Yeah, so we have 5 planes all intersecting at this one line. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Which is, uh, yeah, quite fascinating. Um, yeah, fascinating little <laughs> nugget there.